Hi, this is Pumpkin Creek Primitives. I'm Bobby. This is Floss Tube 106. Nope. Nope. It's not. It's 107. But it is August 20th. Is that true? That is true. 2023. And this is a channel about cross stitch and my online uh, needle workshop. Normally a fur baby or two, but uh, since Skeeter has been in rehab, um, it's not been as much as that going around. <laughs> I hope you enjoy. Hello, hello, hello. It has been like a month and a week ish since I filmed, which is terrible. But I promise, like, the further you get out from filming, the harder it is to film. <laughs> and then stuff just starts piling up and you start getting overwhelmed. And then you're like, oh, I can't. So I am going to start off right now with um just a shop update i will have more be stitch me fabric coming i did add some since you have last seen me um i have no idea what i've added since you last seen me but you can go to my website you can go to fabric you can go to be stitch me and then you can see everything there um because i do have it in linens um you know maybe i showed you the last but i don't know it doesn't matter there's it's there to be got <laughs> Um, and then I've got more coming. I think I've got two more, two or three more orders coming because she broke them up over, um, dyeing one color across all the different, um, counts. Okay. So I got a few patterns that, um, came in that are in the shop. Um, they've been listed, I think for a week or so. Um, this is hands on design, a vintage stitch to Hexy. So that is super cute. So that is in the shop. Hands on design strawberry, the berry basket. And I got one of these for myself because I definitely want to do that. It is so cute. And then hands on design, the pocket neighborhood, which is also super cute. And then hands on design. Oh, Christmas three. It's three ornaments that are super cute. 
And this next one, I also kept a copy for myself. It is Twin Peaks Primitives. It is Gothic Halloween 2023. And without a doubt, this is happening. And that'll happen. And probably this and that and that and that and that. That's the only one that I'm not 100%. Because <laughs> I really want to do a Biscorn you too. Anyways, they're all probably happening at some point. Um, Yeah. So, but I'm like really stoked about this one with the B. But yeah, so those are all in the shop. Um, I do have a sale right now. And it is going on for the whole month of August. I had to think about what month I was even on. Um, and it's just a designer spotlight. So it's 15% off the following designers patterns. It's Autumn Lane Stitchery, The Little Stitcher, and Primrose Cottage Stitches. Um, so they, it happens automatically at checkout. So you, when it does that, sometimes you, I don't know if you have to add to cart to see it, but it's 15% off. Um, those three designers. Now, September, I will do another designer spotlight. Um, I haven't decided which three designers that will be. Um, and then October, I think I'm going to do something big like 30% off all patterns or something like that I may be speaking way out of turn but October is like my favorite month um I'm a huge Halloween girl so I kind of just want to and it also is like kind of the start of people maybe buying some stuff for Christmas um so you know if you've got a list give it to people have them show up in October <laughs> And uh, get some good discounts. So, that is all the shop top, top, talk. Thank God, because it sounds like I'm having difficulties. All right, let me set those over there. I've got my whole desk cleared off, but like now I just feel discombobulated. Okay, so we're done with shop. All right, let's get on to whips. So, I had, I can't tell you what night it was. <laughs> I don't even know. I had, um, oops. I can't make my camera go away. I had a um, Zoom call with uh, Sarah. I'm trying to remember if this happened. <laughs> Since I last recorded, like, I have the worst case of, did I already talk about that? Um, oh, this is sad. Okay. Wow, well, we did it in the morning. <laughs> That's why I'm so confused. Yeah, so the last time I filmed was July 7th? July 9th. Okay, and this was July 30th. I had a labyrinth Zoom and me, Carrie uh, from Three Trail Stitchers and Sarah, Memphis E. Sarah, all get together and chit chat and we stitch on this project. Labyrinth Friends by The Little Stitcher. She's on sale right now. Okay. <laughs> um, I have a mini finish. I finished Ludo! Finally! I did not finish this actually on our chat. Um, but it was like so close that I pulled it out like the next evening or something like that. And I just pushed through and I got him done because I was literally like I cannot be stitching on him for another Zoom. I feel like I've been stitching on him for, I mean, it's been over a year that I've been stitching on him. Obviously, we only, I know that sounds crazy, like, but when we, t we have only stitched, oh, no, it was a couple weeks after because it was August 12th when I, when I stitched him, but we stitched, we've only stitched twice this year. 
one, two, three, four, five, six, and six times in 2022 and three times in 2021 because we started it in July, 2021. So that being said, and we, you know, we talk for an hour or so. So, he, so he probably only has a good six or seven hours in him. <laughs> that's been for a year. So it is what it is. So yes, yeah, so he's done for now and I can move on. I may move back over to her, um, back over to Sarah. We'll see. But yeah, it's so cute. So I was excited to get him done because, you know, that brown was just, it was a lot. Was, I mean, look, I mean, he is ginormous compared to everybody else. So hopefully everybody else will go faster. Okay, then my next whip, and I pulled this out this past week, but I didn't get to work on it till today. And this is all the fault. You know what I didn't say? And now it's over there. That is on a volcano stitching. It's an 18 count. It doesn't have a name, the green Labyrinth Friends. Excuse me. It's in the called 4 DMC. Okay, back to this whip, sorry. Oh, did anybody see I see my new watch? So, it's got Maleficent face on it. It's just, I mean, it's an iPhone, but, or iWatch, but yeah. Um, so, this, this next whip, I had to get it out because I was watching Akio Whip, and it's Kevin and Erica, and <laughs> Kevin pulled out his Baba Yaga by Autumn. Oh, wait, I didn't see a theme. This one's also on sale. This designer. I don't, I don't have any Primrose Cottage. <laughs> I was like, if I worked on that, that would be hilarious. But no. So Autumn Lane Stitchery, Baba Yaga. Um, he has, Kevin has like this part of the roof. Like he has like the, this top part done. And it looks so good. And I was like, I need to pull mine out because all I had was some of this tree right here in the corner. It, it wasn't, it wasn't a ton. I mean, it's still not a ton. Um, but I am stitching it. This also came in a BNS box. I think a Halloween box. And it came with Be Stitch Me catacombs, but I didn't like the count. I think it was linen. Um, so I just got the 18 count catacombs because I thought the how about it's already sitting out? I'm still digging in the box for it. Or the bag for it. Um, my husband's yelling at the dogs. Um, yeah, I've only stitched on this. This is only the second time I've stitched on it. I started December 27th because of my no new starts. I wanted to make sure I could stitch on this. And so I stitched on it December 27th and today. <laughs> but it is a little deceiving. It is a lot of stitches. And, um, I felt like I was stitching forever today. And I feel like it doesn't look like I got very much done. But, come on, fabric, work with me, work with me. Why are you being saggy? <laughs> okay. So, there it is. So, I basically had, I think this little part right here done. And then starting, I think I finished out one of these branches and then this different color branch right here over. I did all that today. And I think I did some of this today. But I think, I think I may have done, no, I think I just did this one today. And then this was old, but uh, it's a start. <laughs> I mean, it's getting there. I mean, I really like it and I love this fabric. And it does a really great job. Like the bold colors, like how I'm just loving how crisp that looks. And like, there's nothing fancy in there. And it's, there's not back stitching up there yet. Um, so yeah, I'm like... Oh, Nina went through the fabric. 
So yeah, I'm loving it. And I plan on working on it. It's part of my plans. I plan on working on it because I changed up my whole, like I have a basket that sits by where I stitch. And I did a refresher. It hadn't had a refresher in months. And so I took a bunch of stuff out, packed it away and pulled out some stuff I wanted to get my hands on. So that this was one of them because of Kevin. It's all Kevin's fault. Uh, you should go check out Akio Whips. It's A-C-C-I-O Whip. Okay, so the next whip I have is going to kind of give away a little bit, but that's okay. <laughs> um, this is my April, April Quaker from The Heart, and I started this on July 22nd. It is on 18 count be stitch me not another sampler and let me get my needle minder off of here just because I feel like sometimes my needle minder especially this is the, the Tudor Rose it kind of clashes <laughs> and there it is I haven't made I like steamed through these earlier ones but this one is slow it's a slow go kind of how um, January was a slow go but we'll get there. We will get there. And so obviously, it kind of leads me into my finishes. If you know that I'm starting April, you know what that means. It means I finished March. Can't get everything off of here. So, Where is March? There it is. So, this was March. And, there it is finished. Sweet! So, it and I have them all in this bag, so this bag gets a little a little uh, burdensome. But it'll be fine. Let's see, when did I finish March? I mean I've got my little notebook. Finished it on July twenty second. Oh, Wait a minute. Um, apparently, uh, I finished February Quaker on July 16th. Uh, July was ridiculous for me. I'll explain that in a second. So, that is February's. And... That's so funny. I thought I'd already shown that one. And there's February. Sure, maybe I didn't write down a floss tube. Am I missing a floss tube? <laughs> um, and I guess as a reminder, since it's sitting here, there's January's. <laughs> um, I am using the call for colors. Yeah, I need to get these out of here and figure out how I want to finish them. Okay, yeah, so my little my little book here. That's where I put my page, my finished pages. So here's the funny thing. I don't have all the pages. Maybe I should wait till I, till I pull some after. I see which in here? Yeah. I don't know, maybe I do. Well, I'm a little confused. Oh, different pattern. All right, so I guess I showed y'all the Silent Night one I was doing for my mom. All right, 
So those are whips and finishes on that one. And then my next finish is the Big Creek Free. Is a little sheepy. I finished, this is stitched on um, 25 count Dublin flax linen. Uh, I finished it on July 24th. And of course I started it for 27, 2020. But there she is. She's so pretty. She's so pretty. Um, this, it wasn't a horrible stitch because this looks like it's even wave, to be honest. Um, but I put the card in there. I need to put her out there because I need to take pictures and stuff for my intro. Okay, so my next finish is the little stitcher again she's on sale legends for halloween this is the headless woman and i started this on 2 21 21 i finished her on august 13th and i'll tell you i hate de kidding unkidding whatever so that's why this stuff just seems like it hangs around for a while in bags. But there she is. And this is on Jody Fabric. It is 16 count Blood Splatter by Jody. And, yep. So, she's awesome. And that's a good finish for Halloween. Oops. Having needle minder problems. <laughs> so yeah, so I don't like literally like to, to unkit. I don't know why it's so annoying. I right, put that back in there now. It's where I can't reach it. Okay, at least it laid it on top. Okay. So which one did I finish first? I finished this one first. And I finished this one. And then I've got one more finish, but it's also an FFO. Um, and I have the card right here. So this one I started on August 16th. And I finished it on August 19th. It's Odd World by Bindi Stitchy. And um, this came as a journal package. I chose, you had two colorways. You could choose between what's on the front, which is the Fiberlicious floss. Whoops, whoops. Or she charted it like what's on the back, which is Almond m, &M Silk. So it's Ymir's. Isn't that pretty? So I had chose this colorway. And it came with... Um, fabric to do it on, which was also, um, Fiberlicious, which is like a, a neutral, and, um, I didn't go with that. <laughs> I went with Be Stitch Me 18 Count Ledger, and this is crooked, and I don't care. There we go. So, my plans for this is going to be um, to make, because I have tons of smalls patterns. I got Quirky Quakers, a bunch of stuff by um, Be Stitch Me from Patreon. I got a bunch of uh, Mama Witch X Stitch. She just released some smalls. And I've got a, that, my little Bah Humbug that went around. But he's a small, I don't know what to do with him. So, um, they're going to go. I'm going to glue them in here. But this thing is so cool. It has 
stuff in here. And so, yeah, some of the journal pages. And with that being said, because I, so when I finished The Headless Woman, that gave me the new start to be able to do this. And then finishing this, let me start um, a small that will go with it. So, put that there. So finish this on 819. So, I don't know what's going on with me, but it's a good thing, I think. So, going back two, um, and then I got two new starts. Yep. Yep. To show. Well, technically, I had three because April was a new start, too, but, um, so, my first finish in 2023 was on January 1st. And it was my Never Forget, which is still on sale. And the, um, I'll say it was $4 from each. Yeah, $4 from each sale goes to the DNA project. I keep checking on our Jane Doe, um, but we're donating. We're gonna have to donate to a different one, but I keep checking um, just to see if she comes back to still needing a goal met. Um, but the, she is in the genealogy research part, so. We'll see. And then I haven't really, I haven't found another one that I really connect to. So we'll, we'll figure it out. But that is still on sale. It's a PDF. Um, but that was my first finish for 2023. And I've only had a total of one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. 12, 13. So I've had 13 finishes for 2023, um, which really is not terrible when I say that, but here's the crazy part. So 13 finishes and one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, seven were in the month of July. <laughs> I don't know what happened to me in July. <laughs> But seven of those happen in July. Crazy, huh? Crazy, crazy, crazy. So, yeah. Okay. So, I put my little notebook. This is also where I keep my, um, my diamond paintings when I start those. And speaking of, um, I got a finish on her. On eight, does it say eight ten or eight one? Eight ten. And then I started him. He's amazing. But I'll show you her because she's sitting right here. But um, let me just go ahead and do that since we're talking about her. Like she ain't here. So there she is in all her glory, cracking. She's amazing. She'll get poster framed. And um, put in my bathroom. Because I have a cracking bathroom. Sounds funny to say that. But I do. Alright. So I need to put these flosses somewhere. Because I kind of unkitted that. So the whole with the smalls. I had a bag, so whatever I'm actively working on will go in this bag for my smalls, for my journal smalls. But I got this, which I got from my good friend Zamia, and I finally found an amazing, great use for it that I think is beneficial to the bag and myself. So the stuff, the extra stuff that came in that journal kit was got two different kind of laces, this, a needle book, and then it was a couple little papers and stuff. And then I added some other papers that I can put for ephemera. And then I've got my whole little quirky Quakers sitting there ready to go. And then 
I've got the fabrics that I want to use. And so some of these are smaller cuts and then some of them are just brighter, bolder uh, colors. And then there's the ledger that I've already used. So this is kind of like my go bag, my planning stuff, because in iBooks, I made sure that all my small patterns that fit a certain size, I saved them under a little ca different category so I could easily go to them. Um, so my first one that I started after I finished Odd World is uh, Mama Mama Witch X Stitch. It's Adopt a Ghost and it's the Cat Ghost. And you'll have to excuse my printer. My printer printed out crappy. But um, yeah. And I started that on 14 count chalkboard black because it was the only black I had was 14 count and I really want to be doing these on 18 so that they're super small and I know they'll fit and I could possibly fit more than one on a page in that journal but this little guy is going to possibly get his own page it's fine and so that's where I'm at <laughs> um it's not a ton but it is almost 500 stitches and I started him, oh, today, this morning. It was like, well, it was after Candyland numbers got drawn. So, had to put 350 stitches in. So, that is the first small. And I already have... My second small, come on. I already have my second small um, picked out. And it's already in this bag too. And it is the Quirky Quaker Ghost. And I'm going to do it on Evil Queen. Um, they used it on Brigden Linen. It's under the sea fabrics. But I think this one will look just as good. Right? It almost looks the same. So that will be my second start when I finish this little kitty cat. So I have a lot of little quick starts and finishes. And so that'll be good. So that's new start and plans, basically. My other new start is, I'll show you a picture because I don't have the evening printed out. And this is not gonna look that exciting when um when i show you my progress <laughs> um i apologize for that but she let me get the card she is cat called mystical cat girl seven uh the artist is dutch lady mystic arts and then stitches so beautiful it did, did the licensing and did the charting um, so on Etsy, the shop is Stitches So Beautiful, S-E-W. Um, I feel like I showed you these when I bought them because I also had the Wednesday. Um, I need people to stop texting me so I don't show the world what you're texting. So that is her. Stunning. And, I mean, don't be blown away. This is on 18 count easy grid. There, there's a start. Don't, don't be blown away. Um, yeah. Three ten. I mean, <laughs> feels pretty. <laughs> but yeah, and this is one of my new needle minders that I got from Mad for Minders. But uh, yeah, um, I believe. It is this corner <laughs> until I hit a ear. <laughs> That's all I got. Now, she's going to be fun. Because <laughs> that's the colors other than this orange I got down here. Because that's the first orange that comes into play. I already got it ready. I'm ready for the color. Um, so that'll take 115 years. But it's okay. I hadn't picked her up since I started her. I started her on July 22nd. 
and I was able to start her to have my my list I was able to start her because I finished that silent night for my mom now I currently do not have any banked whips and the witchy stitcher which I was able which I had said whatever Sal she did I would do but that's now been pushed off um, because Meg, you know, she found out she has a very rare cancer. So, um, I don't know if I will, I think I'll just let that start just be that I don't have to have it because I'm not doing no new starts next year. So, um, we only have a few more months, so it's fine. And it's been successful so far. then plans and then after plans we will yep then after plans um we will get to haul so we have in september alert september alert in September it's sampler September so oh wait that was the other thing I had plans to do and I never could what I want to do for next year and I couldn't I couldn't get it in, out of my brain correctly but I was gonna try to come up with being able to have um, each month next year my focus instead of doing no new starts or any of that kind of stuff or touch all my whips do something where like I pick a theme like sampler September and I pick four projects or whatever for each week um that goes with that theme and like that's my main thing I work on doesn't mean I have to only work on it but it's like my focus for that weekend because I was I gotta look by week ends not weeks um and then that would be my focus for that weekend which probably means like I would stitch on it for like one whole day and then do other things so we'll see I don't know because I was trying to come up with like diversity December like if I started now and but I couldn't think of anything for October <laughs> and then I'm just like I don't know I don't know so, but for September, why can I not say September sampler? I think I'm trying to run them together. I'm too Southern. I'm trying to run all my words to make shorter words. Um, with, along with, I know Fawn from Sanctum Stitching is doing this. I know that Sarah from Memphis East Sarah is doing this. And I feel like it may be... Um, Justine from X's and Hoes is doing this. I, I may have forgotten somebody because, you know, I didn't write anything down when Sarah was going over it. But we are starting Heartstring Samplery, the Scary Sampler. And it's got some great um, Easter eggs in it. I need to pull. Oh, no, I have the floss. Good for me. Good for me. But I'm going to be doing it on At the Pond by Be Stitch Me. So I think it'll go good with these colors. Not that you can see because I have them watered toward my hand. All you can see is tags. Just trust me. Trust the process. So yeah, so we'll start that September 1st, which I have to remind myself. I won't remember. So those are plans. And then the next plan is in October. Joining also Sarah, and I don't know who else, but this one by Teresa Kogut. Now, I already started mine. I started it December 28th. But, I mean, I didn't get much done. This is on a volcano stitching. Um, I didn't get much started, so I was missing a color. So, I'm starting that 
restarting or stitching along with. Give me a reason to stitch on it, right? With Sarah. So that is. And then the other thing, other plans is I am going to restart Get Cracking. Megan, the frozen crafter, she finished hers and was getting it framed. And I just, it makes me really want to have mine finished. But I think I'm dragging my feet on it because, because I bet you can guess. Um, because it's on 32 count Lugana. <laughs> I mean, it looks fine, but you guys, I'm, I'm not that far that I feel like, I mean, I am literally like just have just done this top part. So in comparison to the whole pattern, I have a ton and if I'm not happy, I'm not happy. So yeah, so that's going away and I am going to stitch it on. 18 count properly primitive by right under the seat so it looks like this so i put the whole board in here <laughs> wasn't 100 percent sure that that's what i'm going with but with all these colors i think it'll look amazing so yeah so that's a restart so that doesn't count as a new start i'm just because i definitely had enough stitches in that but it's just a restart i'm not happy with it so i plan on i had meant to do it before I got here, but then the journal thing happened. Uh, and that's Michelle's fault because I watched her mid-year whip and finishes and she kept showing all those quaky, quirky Quakers, quaky, <laughs> quirky Quakers. And um, I just, I'm like, I have all those and I haven't stitched them because I don't know what to do with them. And now I do. So, and then I was like, oh yeah, I bought a kit forever ago. Let me grab that. Imagine. All right, so. Now we're on the haul. I'm only 39 minutes, dude. I am flying through this. Which is not typical of me. Okay. So I've got my Kaleidoscope Thread Club Forbidden Fiber Co. And these are all one of a kinds and they are all um, 15 yards. Which is nice to have a nice chunk. That one's pretty. This purple's gorgeous. Oh, that one's gorgeous. It's got a little little browns in the back. And then ooh. That one's really pretty. And it's looking it is definitely like a green well it's showing it yeah, it shows okay, it's showing true. There for a second, I didn't think it was, but it is. So, yeah, isn't that pretty? So, I got those. Just put those over here. Um, I said I got some needle minders. So, I do the butterfly. Oh, when I get needle minders, I get needle minders. <laughs> so, these are all from Mad for Minders. I got those. awesome and then I got these which I love her boyfriend's on the other the other one I showed you <laughs> yeah I mean this this guy right here is so cool but look at that butterfly love it and then the last few. Love them. So I'll start putting those on some projects. Let me come up because I love my needle minders. It's collecting. Just collecting. <laughs> I need to find a better way to store them though. My middle thing's getting full. Oops, sorry. Plastic. Sometimes I do good and I remember to take these out and other times not so much.
Okay. So for the Be Stitch Me fabric of the month, this is lightly salted, not roasted. This is the Neutral Club, mine are 18 count. It's a very beautiful neutral. And then for the Color Club, it is, uh, mine's 18 count and it's Glacier. It's pretty, pretty blue. Okay. Kind of like not sure <laughs> how, to, how to do things with the clean space. All right, so the next, I, uh, this is also Sarah's fault, Memphis Sarah, because I watched her um, kitted parade and I really was thinking about doing one myself. I have four totes. There are four totes of, here, I'll take a picture and show you. Arlo's over here. All right. Ignore the murder on top. But I have those four totes full of kitted up projects. Now, a lot of them may be needing a few flosses or they may be needing fabric but for the most part they're kitted up i just don't know if i have the energy to go through all those <laughs> and film it i'll be honest and i don't know if anybody's interested i mean i really enjoyed watching sarah and she doesn't she stitches a few things that i like but there's a lot of things that she stitches that are not my thing i just i don't know i just enjoyed watching um but because i watched i now have um, a couple, which I have a couple more coming. I have a couple of kits that apparently has enough back stitching in it that may kill me, but it's so good. And it's Bothy Threads and it's some of the cut through series. And she had the cut through of, um, I think the wedding, a wedding. And it was really cute. What are you doing, buddy? You gonna come up here and say hi? You can come say hi. There you go. Hi. You've been missed <laughs> with your bad haircut. Does your mama cut your hair? Hi. Okay. You just smelling all the things? I didn't know he'd come here. It's been so long since there's been an animal on here. He's rubbing all over my uh, journal. Is that your journal now? What did you see outside, birds? See that little tail? <laughs> Hi. Mwah. Love you. Okay. Let's not. <laughs> Why are we stepping all over the diamond painting? Okay, back to what I was saying. Hopefully you don't get a butthole shot. Um, Boffy Threads, cut through series. I got the Haunted House. Does everything smell funny? So, I mean, look at the detail in this stuff. It is so stinking cute. Get closer. I know I got some glare. I apologize. But the detail, I mean, look at this guy with his hole in his head. Like, it's just, it's amazing. It's so good. So good. So I got that. So I'm excited about that. And then I got another Bothy Threads, which I, this just called to me, which is, it's the Slippers series. And this is a Sally King design. I didn't read who the designer was on that other one, but this, um, I, I don't wear high heels. It's not my thing. Are you good? Yeah, why don't you go off that edge? Um, I don't wear high heels, don't wear fancy shoes like that at all and not my thing but this pattern I couldn't help it so they have a slipper series and they have all different kinds of sh uh, they're all high heels like this but they're all different you know themes and stuff they got one that's a peacock that's gorgeous um but I, it's those cats and spider webs like it's just it's so pretty but that back stitching oh so yeah So glad he came and visited. It's been a long time since he's visited. 
Of course, Skeeter hasn't been on here since April. Yeah, I got a Skeeter update in a second. Um, then I got my Halloween cross stitch, special edition. I did not buy any to get in the shop this year because I still have last year's. <laughs> so um, I'm assuming everybody's either grabbing it from their local uh, stores or LMS or whatever. But there's a there's a few smalls. There's definitely some smalls in here that can go into my journal. So that's exciting. Look at this. So cute. So yeah, so there's some really cute stuff in that. Let me just toss this one back over here. The other cross stitch magazines. Okay. I have three things left. Let me do a little, um, and then I have a giveaway. I guess I should have led with that. But if you're still here, there's a giveaway at the end. Um, what is this? So part of my problem is I don't, <laughs> like, what do I even have? Oh. Turn on. I feel like that one's been overly done. What is this? Oh. So this one... This is a Be Stitch Me box, and it's the Classy and Sassy Timeless Mystery Box Fabric and Silk. Um, I will probably do the pattern as a giveaway, um, because I'm not into clocks like that, but it's cute. That came with it. I will put it over here for a future giveaway. Um, but the silks are, they stitch me silks and there's a ton. Oh wait, are they to do the pattern? They are, except for you would be missing a treasure braid. So I would be willing Let's keep these together. I, is this right? White rose, bone, gingerbread, zombie. Cauldron, sepia. I don't see that one on there. Rosie, I don't see that one on there. Black Walnut, Espresso, Fawn, Nope, Brick, Almond, No, Cacao, Cacao, Milk Chocolate, Honey, No. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay. So there's ten of these. I do not have the petite treasure braid. There is one petite treasure braid color in this, but at a different because none of these are petite. None of these are yeah. I will, um, I'll do the silks with it. And then the only silks I kept were the ones that are not called for. But, yeah. Alright, sorry fabric's not going to it. <laughs> so I will fight you for fabric. Um, So, this is the fabric, timeless, it's gorgeous, I love it, cannot give up the fabric. And then we got a little classy, which is also very beautiful, and then a little sassy. That one's gorgeous also. 
also. So, there we go. So that's three more be stitch me fabrics. Okay, so I'm down to the last two things of haul. One is non stitch related. It's going to be a lot of crinkle, crinkle. I put it in a leftover BNS bag <laughs> from Black Needle Society. Um, from a Halloween bag. It's Legos, guys. Legos. Um, start the platform. Each bag number is labeled. It's bag number 18. Um, and then each bag, of course, has got tons of little bitty bags in them. And, so sorry. This is the instruction booklet. It's got a glare. There's no way I cannot get a glare. That is what we're building. And this is what the instructions look like. Pretty cool. Now, I will say, went out on a limb with this one, because this is Lego. It looks just like the Lego book. I opted to not get a box, because I don't need a box. Um, but... Um, it, of course, is, because I got it from AliExpress, it was way cheaper than buying it from the Lego store. Um, I'll be honest with you, I love, I love Legos. Um, I was trying to find a picture of it. But I don't, I don't think it's worth $300. But that's it when I'm done. All the little peoples. Um... Yeah, I'm uh, super excited. I've only a story. I even asked Chaz, like, you want to do, do a Lego, Lego project with me? And he's like, mm, no, 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 I don't. <laughs> so I'm like, okay, thanks. <laughs> um, yeah, so one last thing. And then I'll be done with haul. And this was a, I don't even know how we're gonna. Uh, this is a Fangirl Fibers. It was called 12 Days of Jaws. It was summer. Um, and I haven't opened it. And you were supposed to like, it was like a countdown box. But we got this, which is awesome. And then, We have a bunch of envelopes. So, this is gonna be crinkle. But let's start with July 20th. And I do believe it feels like fabric. <laughs> and it is. And I don't know if mine was supposed to have a little red drop of stain on it, but this is July 20th. You're the mayor of Shark City. And so, we got a piece of crunchy Ada. I'm going to throw this in the sack and put that over there. July 21st. It says it's a char charadon? Chark charadon? Chark whatever. It's a great one. cute and I love it look at this <laughs> look at the floss drop that is so cute this is my first fangirl fiber thing July 22nd this was no boat accident oh I love they're all gonna have them that's exciting 
It was, it's the small things. July 23rd. Ha ha, they're all gonna die. <laughs> oh. I already have this too. Let's see if I can find it. This is where the pattern was sent to us. And I'm pretty sure that I was smart <laughs> and downloaded it already. I mean, sometimes it's questionable. <laughs> so it matches the bag. Yeah, so it matches the bag. That's the pattern. And it literally says, pattern will be sent to you. That was what was in that. <laughs> July 24, Amity, as you know, means friendship. We got a great, gray, I don't know why I say great. And then July 25th, they caught a shark, not the shark. And it's a yellow. I'm loving these. I don't have a uh, July 26th. Here's the swimming with the bull legged women. That was so cute. It's a needle minder. July 27th. I'm talking about sharking. Another really beautiful color. Then July 28th. <laughs> You're going to need a bigger boat. That's a beautiful gray, blue. That's more gray, I guess. July 29th. Show me the way to go home. That's another really pretty gray. It's more purpley hued. July 30th. Farewell and adieu to your fair Spanish ladies. Ooh. That's a sparkly needle minder. July 31st, smile, you son of a bitch. Oops. And then a really pretty red. So those are so cute. I love these needle minders. Needle minders. Yes, I love the needle minders, but I'm talking about these little floss acrylic floss drops. I'm trying to get them all stacked together. I don't know if this is going to happen. I hear Chad letting the dogs in. So that being said, we only, there's only two puppies le left. There's all the colors. Super cute. Oh, just kidding. There's another one. <laughs> um, those are super cute. So there's two puppies left. And um, one of them's my favorite, but we do not need a dog. That is not needed. Okay, I'm gonna be really bad right now and I'm just gonna take all my stuff and just put it in this bag for right now. And we'll deal with that at a later date. Right? Right. Okay. Now I'll just put this bag in here and then I'll forget till I open it and I'll think it's something we need for next time. It's fine. Um, yeah, so poo, two, <laughs> poo? No, two puppies. Again, why am I combining my words? Two puppies left. Um, one being my favorite orange. And orange um, has his daddy's personality. Oh, are you talking? Um, I got a couple I'll put. Um, a couple videos I'll put at the end of this. But then there's dark green collar. And how stinking cute is he too? So cute. So those are the only ones that haven't found homes yet. 
Um, okay, giveaway. So we're gonna do three. Nope. One, two, three, four. All right, so part of where these come from is when I went through all my kits, because I thought I was gonna do the, whatchamacallit, the kit parade. And as I was going through, there were some that I unkitted because I was like, I'm not gonna stitch this. And I know I'm not gonna stitch it, so let's give it to somebody who will and cares. Okay, so this first one is, um, you literally don't even have to use a word in a sentence. We, I'm gonna name them like one, two, whatever, whatever, whatever. Um, and you don't have to spell it out, just put the number there. Don't spell it out. Um, so this is number one. So this is Country Cottage Needleworks, Let Us Adore Him. I don't have the button, it didn't come with the button, but it is a Jabco button. Um, that little cardinal, but so this is number one. So if you comment number one, uh, let's write what that was. I can't with myself sometimes. Um, <laughs> number two is Ardith Design, Sugar and Spice and Everything Nice. That's cute. Cute little winter. That is number two. Number three is by Darling and Whimsy. And it's HF1916 Sampler. And that is that. Hi, baby. I love you. Why are you doing me? Okay, I can't. Oh. Not necessary. <laughs> and number four is uh, by uh, Rami. And it is part of the Moo the Merrier, which was 2022's. He is sitting on my dying pain. Uh, 2022's theme for market. And this is in the mood for cross stitch. So that's number four. If you want in the mood for cross stitch, and I have to say it, this is like way cuter than the picture. Oh, he, oh, we're just, oh, okay, oh. <laughs> I wish I could see him, actually. So he is uh, laying on the folded diamond painting. Yeah, you. Yeah, you. Just chilling like a villain. <laughs> so, yeah. Uh, that is it. So, let's go through these again. Put one. And you can put more than one. You can say one, two, three, four, whatever. Um, you can only win one, though. Not win one, but you can only win one of the patterns. So one, two, three, and four. And I will draw those next time. So you actually have like a month to watch this. Um, so that'll be good. Instead of like a week, like you used to. So yeah, you'll have a month to put in those. All right, so I kind of gave y'all puppy a day update, Skeeter update. Um, we are currently out of a cast. We've been out of the cast for a few weeks um, because uh, he keeps taking the cast off and I think he's re-injuring it and he's making it worse. So before we go the amputation route, I begged the vet. I was like, Ken, because um, it is healing. It's just, it you know, has a ways to go. So I said, if we keep him in his little soft kennel, can we go without the cast for a while and see if he starts putting pressure on it and we can start building it up and then um, we'll come back in, you know, a few weeks or a month and we'll take an x-ray and see where we're at to see if he can be let loose in the house. 
So he is still in his little soft kennel. Um, and which I freaking hate, but at the same time, if this is what we have to do so he doesn't lose the leg, I'm willing to do it. Um, if we go in for the x-ray and it's not looking any better, uh, letting it kind of do its own thing since it's already been set, um, then we'll have to amputate. But I'm just trying to do what I can so he doesn't have to because let's be honest, he sucks at being a cat with four legs. So, um, yeah, it kind of stinks, but it is what it is and we're getting through it and he's such a good boy and um, we are rigging up an area um, where we can close doors off to the bedroom and um, our bathroom and block off a doorway. We've got a long hall that we can block off to where he can't hide underneath anything, jump on anything or run and hide or take off or whatever. Uh, or jump off of anything and we're gonna start doing about five minutes a day and letting him you know us us both of us sitting at opposite ends of the hallway and letting him walk around and play in with some toys and stuff just to try to get because he had a lot of atrophy in the leg and so just trying to get those muscles and stuff built up because I think some of him maybe uh, he is putting pressure down on it which is good he's not holding it up like he was um so that is good but I also think it probably feels weird because he had some muscle shrinkage and so we want to start building that up and slowly before he has full access to the house because I, to be honest, I have a absolute fear that he's just going to jump off the bed or something and snap it. And then like, I, I, I can't, <laughs> I can't let him go through that pain. He already had, he already had that. Like I, I, I can't, it makes me sick to my stomach. So, um, you are putting hair all over that velvet back. It's fine. We'll survive. So that is everything and it was a lot of things <laughs> so um i'll have a couple of videos at the end some puppies playing i'm sure um it'll be cute um the uh, uh miss reba's parents are keeping the rump bird bird out the window are keeping the runt of the litter which is uh they're called him because all their dogs have um country music names that they have haggard and jolene emmy lou reba um so the little runt of the litter is a little red collar who is one of my faves and he's full he's a little spunky thing and they're calling him little jimmy after little jimmy dickens and uh i do have some video <laughs> of him and the best part is they're keeping him um, and so I'll get to watch him grow up, which is exciting because he is a cutie patootie. So, and so full of energy. Um, yeah, so I'm a little bummed that orange collar hasn't got a home yet, but maybe it's just because the, it's waiting for the perfect home, right? So, um, yeah. So the only other thing I've been doing around here is cleaning up stuff and organizing. I got to go pack orders while this, I got to edit this video, then go pack orders. Um, and eventually I've got to update my intro to add more of my finishes. <laughs> it's a downside of finishing stuff. All right. Well, I will see you guys in, you know, a month-ish. And um, hope everybody has a wonderful stitching week and month. See you later. Bye. Little Jimmy, you is cute. You is cute. Come on. What is everybody doing? Putting in the rock. I told you that's Lucian's dog. <laughs> Where's your oil? I don't know. <laughs> no, it's a sneak attack. <laughs> <laughs> he was gonna slide. He was gonna to slide it. to it. <laughs> what are you doing, Hoppity? <laughs> he acts just like one of y'all's, but whichever one I always call him. Like Andy had. You're gonna be Willie Nelson in a minute. Stop. <laughs> Oh, 
Look at that. Look, look. Uh-uh. 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 What is so exciting yeah, so about running through the flowers? September, right? Yeah. Living their best life. If you want to bring oh, his Lord. performance, since I don't have any, that's fine. But if you want him to eat this, that's fine. Are you being cute for Mama? Are you being cute for Mommy?